Okay, good lord. We're going to be making chicharrones, pork rinds, in salsa. <coughs> I like the taste of Rotel, but sometimes it's too spicy for my wife. So I might add some diced tomatoes, or I might just go with fresh cut tomatoes, bell peppers, or finer bell peppers, jalapeno, and onion. Now, I like all the fresh flavors. And depending on what I want to do or what flavor I want, I'll use these. For those of you that might want to negatively criticize, I will tell you this. If you do not have the balls to put your process and your recipe up here against this, then you should shut up, okay? This is a great recipe. It is delicious. This used to be, the chicharron tacos used to be my number one seller when I used to have a business called El Taco Tote in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Because of me, because of my greed, I lost my business. It was between me and my, uh, my sister and my brother-in-law. And, uh, I delved into some shady businesses, so we lost the business, and, well, that's in the past. So, anyways, chicharrones in salsa are one of my, were one of my, our hottest sellers and one of my favorite recipes and dishes. We're going to be mixing it up with some refried beans. I made fresh pintos this morning. So, I've got everything cut up. I've got my chicharrones, and we're about ready to rock and roll. All right, we're going to use some tomato you see some of this that i cut up is gonna be also for a carnita that i'm gonna make later so i'm not using all of this just for the chicharrones uh, so but i am gonna take what i'm gonna use for the chicharrones and We've got more tomato in there somewhere. Yep, okay. This is what I'm going to make later. It's a nice, beautiful chuck pot roast. But I'm going to make it like a carne guisada or carne, you know, a guiso. Anyway, so I've got my uh, aceite, my cooking oil, nice and hot. We're going to throw these in. Look at that. We're going to fry that up a little. And then we're going to throw in also our chicharrones. My chicharrones, I like them to get some of that oil so that I can reconstitute them here in a bit. Once you put in the uh, rotel or tomato sauce or diced tomatoes, you're going to soften them up. You can put a little bit of water and then reconstitute them. And so, I humbly offer you this recipe. I don't like to consider myself a chef, although I did uh, I did certify in a culinary arts class offered by the state of Pennsylvania while I served four and a half years in a federal prison. So, but most of my cooking comes from learning at home or having to survive on my own. And I love my recipes. I love my flavor. I hope you guys enjoy this. A ah, quick view of my stuff cooking up here. Coming up very nicely. Okay, guys. I'm adding about half a can of Rotel. I'm adding about half a can of the diced tomatoes to all the mix. And we're going to add a little bit of water and cover this up and let it simmer. All right, I got my beans cooking up here because I want them more caldudos or watery than refried really today. So I'm going to make them caldudos. My masher is on standby. My chicharrones are cooking. Whew, okay. 
And we're going to drop the heat on this because I want them to slow cook. I want them to get nice and soft. And then I want that water to cook off so that I can, uh, so I can get that mantequita, that oil back in them. <laughs> so, and back to my story, you know. Uh, we, between me and my sister and my brother-in-law, we had probably what was the hottest taco stand in Virginia Beach back in 2007. And uh, we were going up. We had fantastic business. It was probably going to knock out more than a few businesses. But um, I did make some mistakes. I made some bad choices. And I got in trouble for it. I ended up going to prison for four and a half years. And uh, we lost everything. Everything. But praise God, uh, we're here, we're alive and kicking, and all of that is behind us. So, uh, I did learn some tricks in culinary arts class in prison. Uh, but I like my taste, I like my flavors, I like my recipes, and I think uh, humbly, humbly, that they're very good. So, I just wanted to say that, you know, I, I, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm, I'm blessed. I have a beautiful wife. I have a, I have a roof over my head and praise God. I'm sharing this with you guys. So you see, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna refry as in adding manteca, adding more oil or lard or anything like that. I might add a little bit of oil, not a lot. I want them watery. I want them caldudos, we call them. So, and then I might add some um, some scrambled eggs on the side, which would be perfect for chicharrones, frijoles refritos, and scrambled eggs. Anyways, we carry on. We move forward. I am adding this to my beans. Butter flavor Crisco. It doesn't say it's baking sticks. It doesn't say lard. It doesn't say oil. You know Crisco. But that's what I'm going to add to my beans. And oh, I already mashed them. What I was going to mash them. Now I'm going to just let them slow cook. I want you to see the consistency of my beans. I want you to see what I have and I'm gonna keep them watery I'm gonna keep them you know caldudos is what I call them caldudos so and our chicharrones are coming around nicely look at my pork cracklings in salsa chicharrones in salsa these are absolutely delicious they are coming up very beautifully and yes, I can make them better if I had some fresh chicharrones, but I only had the store-bought chicharrones. But that doesn't mean that they are not absolutely delicious. I will put up my recipe against anybody's recipe. My frijoles caldudos, soupy refrides are coming up very nicely. I want you to see that. I want you to see, I did mash them, you saw me mash them. And then I added butter flavored Crisco. So, here in a minute I'm gonna scramble up some eggs and I'm gonna serve myself a good meal. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. These are still, I'm gonna just let them fry up in the oil a little bit more, you know. Like I said, I can make them soupier with more tomato sauce. I didn't want to do that today. Just depends what flavor I'm looking for when. So these are pork cracklings in salsa. Chicharrones in salsa. You saw everything I put in there, so I'm not going to repeat myself. God bless every one of you all. I hope you enjoy these recipes. All right, have a great day.